Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hey, viewers, thank you for tuning in to Seeing the Impossible Faith Center. My name is Pastor Greg Marilla. I'm so excited that you're tuning in and you want to watch this video. Uh, we've been doing a series. We started the, the beginning of the year teaching on wisdom. The first uh, series was Wisdom in Prayer. Uh, the second one has been uh, First Wisdom and then Get Wealth. Well, today we're going to start a new series, and it's called uh, Embrace Wisdom and Pursue Grace. It's powerful. Listen, by the end of the year, you'll get your health right, you'll get your money right, you'll get your mind right, you'll get your body right. Listen to the Word of God, all right? It will help you. It's a lamp unto your feet and a, and a light unto your path, all right? It works for me, and it works for anyone that, that, that works it, okay? So uh, it is our custom at Seeing the Impossible Faith Center to bow our heads and close our eyes and put our mind on the Lord Jesus Christ. So that means no thinking of anything else. Let's go to the throne, all right? Bow your heads, please. Gracious Father, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus. We thank you so much, Father God. You are so wonderful. What can we do without you? Holy Spirit, thank you for teaching us how to operate in your system. Father, we've been missing out on so many blessings because we lack understanding. But today, Father, give us ear to hear, hear your message on the kingdom system. And Father, let the Holy Spirit locate us where we at mentally and spiritually. And uh, Father, we'll do the best that we can to give ourselves to you completely. Father God, I love the things that you do. You made us, so we're not a mistake. You only make masterpiece, not mistakes. So I thank you, Father, for this day. In Jesus' name, and all God's people say amen and amen. It is our custom here at Seeing the Impossible Faith Center to give God a wonderful applause. Let's praise him with our hands. Come on. <laughs> Worship you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Bless your holy name. All righty. Let's do this. If you've got a journal, if, you, if, if you're going to take notes today, take out your journal and get your Bible ready. Remember, the title of today is Embrace Wisdom, praise the Lord, Embrace Wisdom and Pursue Grace. Embrace Wisdom, Embrace it, Embrace it, Embrace, Embrace Wisdom and Pursue Grace. All right? Now, there are two sources of wisdom in life. There's a God wisdom and there's a worldly wisdom. What is a worldly wisdom? Wisdom that has no knowledge of God. All right? So what you want in life is to pursue, praise the Lord, is to pursue godly wisdom. Godly wisdom is everything that you need. Who made you? God. Who knows you? God. Who knows you better than yourself? God. With God, all things are possible. With man, <laughs> it's not. Man will let you down in a heartbeat. God will never fail you, never let you down. Praise the Lord. So you need that godly wisdom. In fact, if you get wisdom, you'll get your money right. <laughs> all right? In Proverbs, let's go to Proverbs chapter 8. Let's start with that. Proverbs chapter 8. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen, that's right. So in Proverbs chapter 8, I'm going to show you. Get wisdom and you'll get your money right. Get wisdom and get your money right. You get wisdom, you'll be able to fix your money. Pastor, I have no money. Exactly, we have no wisdom. The difference between the rich and the poor is information. Information, 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 information. This week I was... Uh, well, I ministered to a couple of people, more than one person. And um, I ministered to a person, what a wonderful woman, businesswoman, um, a woman that knows how to conduct herself in business. And I told her, I, I asked her, would she, be, would she please give me information on how I can conduct myself and carry on what God has called me to do? And uh, she told me, the right person comes into your life can change your whole life forever. The right person comes into your life and can change your whole destiny. That's wisdom. 
That's wisdom. She also went on telling me, she says, you know what? She goes, whatever God gave you, you got to work it. So in other words, whatever God gave me, now I know God gave me this gift, so I've, I gave birth to it. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to me to develop it. Whatever you don't develop, guess what? Will go away. Whatever you don't celebrate will go away. Whatever you don't respect will go away. So you have to celebrate the good things in your life. If you don't do that, guess what? You're going to fail. And God did not call you to fail. Praise the Lord. God called you to succeed. Now, if I can find Proverbs 8, I will succeed. Praise God. <laughs> okay. Give me a few minutes. I know you're there. You're wonderful. And I'm going to read out of a New Living Translation. I do have my King James right next to me. Just in case I run out of bullets here, I can go for this one. All right? Proverbs 8. Chap, uh, Proverbs 8, chapter 8, verse 18. 18. Says, I have riches and honor. As well, enduring, enduring wealth and justice. That's what wisdom is. It has riches and honor. Wisdom has riches and honor. And then it goes on saying in verse 19, My gifts are better than gold, even the purest gold. My wages better than sterling silver. Watch what wisdom does. I walk in righteousness in the path of justice. Wow. Watch this. Verse 21. Those who love me inherit wealth. I will fill their treasure. That is what wisdom does. Praise the Lord. It gives you honor. It, uh, it gives you riches. It gives you um, enduring wealth. Now, wealth is a surplus of something. You can be wealthy in love. You can be wealthy in health. You can be wealthy in knowledge. There's so many wealth. There's so much wealth. You just can't look at the finances to be wealth only. See? What God put together, that's wealth, Ron and Patty. That's wealth, and no man can put us under. That's wealth. That's wealth. Praise the Lord. So you have to celebrate wealth. You have to recognize what you have, otherwise you're going to lose it. Okay? Sometimes, even when you don't want to be where you're at, you have to take care of business. That's a good place to shout and say amen. amen. You need to. Because the only way you're going to be promoted, you have to be overqualified where you're at. <laughs> Thank you. When you overqualify where you at, that's when God promotes you. God is not going to promote you if you're not ready for the next level. God's not going to promote you if you're not ready for the next level. God's not going to promote you if you're not ready for the next. If, if, if you're putting God last and putting everything else first, God's not going to promote you. You have to understand that God has given you an assignment. And that assignment requires for you to have wisdom. Oh, boy, I tell you, I'm teaching better than you guys are shouting. Wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom. I need wisdom. That's why I love being in the feet of people that can mentor me. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of clowning. I do a lot of laughing. I love life, you know. But there are things, when you give me that nugget, I take it from you right away. Okay, this will help me. This will help me get to the next level. Now, watch this. Go to... We're in, book, we're in the book of Proverbs, right? Go to Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4, please. Proverbs 4. Watch this. Watch this. 4. And let's go to verse 8, please. Verse 8. And let's do verse 9. Watch. I'm still reading out of a New Living Translation. So whatever you have, King James or... NIV, Amplifier, is going to match. All right, here we go. You there, please? Wonderful. If you prize wisdom, she will 
made you great. Embrace her. Embrace her. Embrace her. And she will honor you. Embrace her. And she will honor you. Embrace, you know, fools don't want to embrace wisdom. Fools are like, ah, oh, I don't need that. I don't. don't say that. Don't sell yourself short. God wants you to have good things in life. So don't, don't, cut, don't cut the blessing by saying, I don't need that. I don't want that. If God wants to give it to you, it's because it's not for you. It's for someone else. It could be somebody in your family. It could be a, a person who's drowning and they need a lifesaver. And you are their lifesaver. Praise the Lord. Okay? So he says, if you prize wisdom, she'll make you great. Embrace her and she will honor you. Number nine, she will place a lovely reef on your head. She will present you with a beautiful crown. Turn to your neighbor and say, Jesus is my wisdom. Tell them, Jesus is my wisdom. Jesus is my wisdom. I got Jesus, I got wisdom. I don't got Jesus, well, then I'm going to struggle with wisdom. Praise the Lord. See? And, and there are two sources of wisdom, I said before. There's God's wisdom, and then there is man's wisdom. All right? So let's continue. In Proverbs chapter 3 now, 3, 316, please, 316, watch what she does. Not only does she give you honor and riches, but she also gives you a long life. Wisdom, wisdom. Somebody say this with me three times. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Yes, yes. A fool dies young. Okay, you're not hearing me in the spirit. I didn't say God called you home. I said there are things that we do that we shouldn't be doing, and they can put us into an early death. I'm not going to look at anybody here. <laughs> there are certain things that we might be doing that is not good for us. So, what are you doing? You're shortening your life. Okay. But let's go, to, let's go to 16. She offers you long life in her right hand, riches and honor in her left. So what does wisdom do? It offers you a long life. On the right hand, it offers you a long life. Now, the position of being on the right is a position of authority. Jesus is in, sitting on the right throne of the Father because God has given him authority. Praise the Lord. Now watch what it does on the left. It gives you riches and honor. That intuition that you have is not really an intuition. It's called the Holy Spirit. And it's speaking to you always. Don't do this one. Don't go there. Don't invest here. <laughs> That's not going to be good. And we have a tendency of saying no to the intuition, the Holy Spirit. And saying yes to what's in front of you. And you have to be careful because some things that are put in front of you are not supposed to be inside of you. So I can put something real lovely in front of you and it may look like go, but when I go test it, it's go filling. It's not real go. It's not 9999. It's not 9999. It's just a make believe thing. All right, let's continue. Psalm 112, please. Let's go to Psalms. Psalms. Let's get out of Proverbs and let's go to Psalms. Praise the Lord, somebody. Psalm. And let's do Psalm 3. Now, this is good. I'm going to have to do this in the King James because uh, the New Living Translation is wonderful. But certain things, it just doesn't give it the oomph. So this is one that we need to oomph. Praise the Lord, somebody. <laughs> this is one we need to oomph. <laughs> Let's get the oomph. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm going to get the oomph. <laughs> oomph. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. That's right. I'm excited. We're up, alive, and ready to go. All right? Well, 
you know, I'm going to read 1, 2, and 3 in the King James. All right? Are you learning something so far? Who you want? Who do you, who do you want in your corner, in your life? Wisdom. And who is wisdom? Jesus. Let's do that again. Who do you want in your corner? Jesus. Jesus. And who is Jesus? Jesus. Wisdom. And what is wisdom? The principal thing. Therefore, in all you're getting, get wisdom and understanding. Because I can give you wisdom, and if you don't have understanding, it's not going to work. Believe me. Unfortunately, some of us work this way. Like, I have the wisdom, but sometimes I don't show like I have the wisdom. I have to go through something and have to show my rear end sometimes. And then when I walk away, I says, that was stupid, Craig. <laughs> I, 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 should, I should have walked in wisdom. And then I have to come back and ask for forgiveness. Am I the only one that does that here? Praise the Lord. Oh, okay. Just, just check it. Just check it. Just, just check it. All right, good. We're there. Psalm 112. Praise ye the Lord. Blesses the man that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commandments. Sounds like the word of God. His seeds. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. That's us. Say, I'm the generation of the upright. You better believe it. Jesus did not die in vain for you. You are the generation of the upright. Number three, wealth and riches shall be in, say this with me, my house. Wealth and riches shall be in my house. <laughs> and his righteousness endures forever. Now, don't be afraid of the word rich or wealth. Once again, it goes together. It's related, especially here in the Hebrew. It's a surplus of something. I want to be rich in health. Come on, somebody say that with me. I want to be rich in health. See, whatever you confess with your mouth, that's what you will receive. Oh, oh. My uncle had it. My auntie got it. My cousin got it. I guess I'm going to get it too. He don't say things like that. See, you don't confess with your mouth such foolishness. You say things like this. I have a wealth of health. Speaking into existence, I have a wealth of money. I don't have to keep up with the Joneses. I do the best with what I have. Holla, somebody, hello. My truck is a Mercedes Benz. For me it is. To me it is. It's my truck. Okay? Now can I go out and get a Mercedes Benz? I believe I can. My credit's gotten that good. I can do it, yes. But why should I pay what I don't have? Listen, Pastor, I'm talking to you out there. You see me. Don't try to keep up. Those guys, been, they've been here a lot longer than you have, see? So that's why they're in that level. So start in the level that you're in. Don't stay in the level. Don't try to go into the level that you're not. You, you don't have it, you don't have it. I call that false prosperity. I, I call that spending your future before it gets here. <laughs> so if I have to buy use, I buy use. Let me tell you something. If I got three good tires and one ball tire, I praise God for my three good tires. Praise the Lord. And then I'll get myself a good one. I'll go to junk. I'll buy it from wherever. I'm not going to plug that store unless they send us a seed. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. So you have to work with where you at. Work where you at. Work where you at. Work where you at. Once you overqualify where you at, God will promote you. God will move you. Now, the problem is that some of us lack wisdom, and we don't know how to ask for it. Our pride, is, our pride is keeping us broke, praise God. Our pride is keeping us stupid. See? If I need wisdom, I'm not afraid to tell someone, would you be my mentor? I've learned so much from you. And when that person hears that, and they see the sincerity, you know what they do? They start imparting more into you. Oh, you ain't helping me today, aren't you? Did you get some sleep last night? I didn't, but I feel good. Praise God. I said, I feel great. I'm full of energy. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. It must be your wisdom, Father God. Because I know that where I'm at, I'm not going to stay here forever. If I'm doing the right thing, I'm going to go forward. 
Same goes with you. If you do the right thing, you're going to go forward. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man or a woman soweth, that they shall reap. We used to say in New York City, see, what goes around comes around. So whatever you're putting out, that's what you're going to get. If you're not happy with your world, then change the world inside of you first. If you, don't, if you want change, then start with you first. And wisdom is the key, is a treasure. It will help you change your life. You get this word inside of you, this word will stir, stir you up. Praise the Lord, somebody. You know, we're in this world, but we're really not from this world. But everything around us, I feel you, Holy Spirit, everything around us, he's given it to me to enjoy. <laughs> everything around me. And when I don't enjoy what's around me, it's just a school. It's just a lesson. It's a teaching. What am I supposed to learn? Let's continue. Let's go to James chapter 1, verse 5. Can you please go there with me? And let's get rid of the pride. If you lack wisdom, ask God for it. And God will give it to you. And he won't reproach you. He won't rebuke you. He'll give it to you. God will give you wisdom. To have something you never had before, you're going to have to do something you have never done before. So maybe you're going to have to break down and say, God, if, if you exist, if you're up there, give me wisdom. I need wisdom. Because without wisdom, I'm not making it. Wisdom is the principal thing. Embrace wisdom and pursue grace. That worldly wisdom. Boy, it has us tied up. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to learn nothing. I like the things I'm doing. I like the way I'm doing it. I'm going to stay young forever. And dumb too. I, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't have to change. I'm fine where I'm at. My grandfather was like this. My father was like this. And I'm going to be like this. Thinking, thinking. Thank you, Reverend. It's like an Ab Abbott and Costello episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the guy calls him a stinker. You're a stinker. He says, what is stinker? Stinker means great man. Well, you better believe it, I'm a stinker. My grandfather was a stinker. My father was a stinker. And I'm a big stinker. See? See, wisdom, 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 please, somebody. Wisdom, that's what we need. Wisdom, get wisdom, and you'll get all right. You'll be all right. Get wisdom, and you'll be all right. Get wisdom, and you'll be all right. Don't be afraid to ask for it. Don't be afraid of it. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God. That's the key right there. Ask God, God, I need wisdom. God, I have been managing my money so poorly, I don't know what to do. God, if you can just put the right person in my path, I promise I'll keep my mouth shut and, my, and open up my ears, and I will receive with that person. But, but don't, don't ask help to people who can't help you. See, we, you know what we do? We go ask the bum in the corner. Don't have two pennies to rub together. Can you teach me about wisdom? Sure, I can teach you about wisdom. Thank you. Please teach me about wisdom. Please, because I don't want to be in your position. Please. See? And, and you're always learning something. You're learning from people what to do and what not to do. What to do and what not to do. See? I have a mentor. I have a, a financial mentor. And believe me, when I don't know something, I call that man up. And he'll laugh with me. He'll say, Pastor, how you doing, son? La, 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 la. Don't do this, do that, you know, leave that there alone. And then my godfather, you know who, Mom. I call him up. He says, stay still. Economy's not good. Don't do nothing. Don't, you know what he told me one time? Don't spend what is not yours. Whew. Jesus, I love you. Don't spend what is not yours. Don't spend what is not yours. Don't spend what, just because it's there doesn't mean it's yours. And just because it's there doesn't mean you can spend it. Don't spend what is not yours. That's what he told me one time. And you know what I tell him? 
Bless you. Thank you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Don't spend what is not yours. Okay, so in James 3, uh, 15, you're there in James chapter 1, aren't you? So let's go to James 3, 15. Don't spend what is not yours. Don't spend your future. Don't spend your future now. Don't spend your future now. I hope this is helping somebody. Don't, don't, don't utilize the credit card right away, right now, just because you got one, you know. If you use a credit card, make sure you pay it at the end of the month. Very quiet in here. Praise the Lord. Thank you, G. Must be hot. I'm going to take off my jacket. Amen. <laughs> don't do that. Have a budget. I'm behind the pulpit, you know that. Have a budget. Track what goes out. Track what comes in. <laughs> it's burning a hole in my hand. It's burning a hole in my pocket. I got to spend this. You know what saving is? Saving. Very quiet in here, praise the Lord. But pastor, I, you don't understand. I don't make enough. Okay, so God is crazy and you're not. Start asking God for different ways. Lord, I'm a tither. Lord, I sow my seed. Lord, I do good deeds. Lord, Lord, look, go to God. See, James 1, 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let, let him ask of God who give to all liberally. He gives freely to all without reproach, and he will be given to him. It will be given to him. It will be given to her if you just ask. You don't know how many times I've asked the Lord. Lord, I'm crazier than a dollar watch. I need you in my life. At least I'm asking. See, at least I get there in front of his face. Says, I need you, and I know you're real. Help me, Lord. How many of us has done that? Lord, take over. You're the Lord of my finances. Ooh. Manage my finances. He's the Lord of the harvest. I got 20 bucks, I'm going to buy shoes. I got $30, I'm going to buy a bottle of cologne. I got to have cologne. I got to have cologne, Lord. I can't smell, Lord. Please, Lord, don't let me smell. But Pastor Greg, you have 25 bottles of cologne. <laughs> Please, man. I'm, 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 I'm being transparent right now. You got 25 bottles of cologne because I have a passion with cologne. Some of you can say I have a fetish with cologne. I don't look at Lucy. Some of you can say I'm a fetish with cologne. Cologne and watches. Sometimes I just surf through that channel. I'm going to plug it in. You need to send me a watch as a seed. The pastor needs another watch. And I, and I shopped that NBC thing. I, I, I'm like, oh, my God, did you see that watch? Oh, God, that's great. Some of you single men, it's like, I act like some of you single men. See a pretty girl. Oh, my God, did you see that girl? She's so gorgeous. Oh, my God, did you see that guy? He's a hunk. I do it with the watches. What a sexy watch. Look at the face of that watch. Oh, my God. And Destiny rats me out. She's my daughter. She goes, tells the girls, he's at it again. He's at it again. <laughs> I'm stuck. I can't change it. That watch is saying, you know what the watch tells me? Pastor Greg, you know you're right. Come and buy me. <laughs> you know I'll look good in your arms and your wrists. I'm like, yeah. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Let me find James 3.15. Praise the Lord, somebody. Are you starting to understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, man. What's your passion? The proof of desire is pursue. The proof of desire is pursue. Some of you hear me say that a lot. You're going to start saying it too. The proof of desire is pursue. Whatever you want, you pursue. Right? You're not going to pursue something you don't want. Men's. Men's. I'm going to talk to you. When you first met your wife, you fell in love with her. You pursued her, right? I hope you're still pursuing her right now too. I'm going to take the fifth. <laughs> God bless you, Lucy. <laughs> I'm going to take the fifth. You got to pursue what you got. <laughs> if you don't want it, don't, then you don't pursue it. 
<laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble. So let's change. Let's go to James 3.15. Praise the Lord. Come on. Give me three hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Lord, have mercy on me. I'm a little crazy right now. Praise the Lord. James 3.15. Anybody there? Because I'm not. Okay. Can you read it for me, Ron? Will you do that? It is hot in here. Mm. Sixteen. Somebody read sixteen for me. Somebody read sixteen, please. Somebody read sixteen. No, James three. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Come on now. You hear that? 16, 16. Terry, you have it, ma'am? 16? Yeah, that's great. Mm. 17, 17. Uh, Daddy Don. I love when it says, no partiality, without hypocrisy. It's pure. So that's why we need the wisdom of God in our life. The wisdom of God in our life is pure. It will promote us. Praise you, Father. It will promote us. So write these keys down, please. First key I like to give you is wisdom. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the ability to store up. Wisdom is the ability to store up knowledge and make it worthwhile. <laughs> That's a little revelation God gave me. What is wisdom? It's the ability. It's a gift. I can store it up. And I can use it when I need it. You know? I was watching yesterday uh, Richard play basketball with the kids. He moves pretty good. He moves pretty good. And I looked at him and I says, yeah, he's done this before. See? So he's got wisdom in that area. He's played, he's played basketball before. And he's got that knowledge stored up. Are you getting what I'm trying to say to you? Don't, don't delete that, that file. Don't delete that file. Use wisdom. It will promote you. It will protect you. It will give you honors and riches. It will give you long life. Use wisdom. My God. Wisdom is in the right hand of, the G of God. Jesus himself is wisdom. Use him. Okay, number two. Man's knowledge alone is not the answer. Man's knowledge alone is not the answer. I was reading um, a statistic, and it says 3% of men in business for themselves succeed. 3%. 3%. Well, that's a shame. 3%, just 3% of, uh, uh, of men in business succeed. God told me wisdom. Wisdom. And then he told me, the statistic says, that most graduates, uh, college graduates, are failing in life. That's a good place to shout, man. Praise the Lord, see? All, those, all that schooling, for what? Oh, Jesus. It's just what that lady told me. The right person comes into your life. Wisdom. And she can change your life and your destiny forever. Embrace her. <laughs> Respect her. Honor her. She's wisdom. Why are they call wisdom a she? Because you got to give birth to it. No one is born with wisdom. Wisdom is experience. So... Wisdom does not come from reasoning. Oh, boy. You'll never get wisdom by reasoning. Wisdom comes when you pay the price. Because wisdom is a defense. Just like money is a defense, wisdom is, def is a defense. And wisdom is better than strength. 
And you know, if you don't have strength, there's a problem. Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. Are you hearing what the Lord's teaching you? The poor man's wisdom is despised. He ain't got nothing to show for it. Words of the wise spoke quietly should be heard. Word of the wise spoken quietly should be heard. Praise the Lord. I love it because my, my father used to tell me, son, think before you talk. Your problem, you talk too much, he used to tell me. Be quiet. I used to stand there. I, I'm going to show him one day. I'm going to show him one day. And you know what it was, Ma? I was just trying to impress Pop. That's all it was. My mouth was running so fast. I just wanted to impress my father. The man used to tell me, less is more and more is less. You're not using it? Get rid of it. Why do you want to collect it? Stop it. Son, your mother's rearranging my stuff again. <laughs> I love you, Mom. <laughs> She's cleaning up again. She's rearranging stuff again. He had, he had, he had an order. He, he, everything in his place. Everything in his place. And some of you are like that, too. You know where you put where you put it. You know what you put where you put it. Order works with wisdom. And wisdom is order. And foolishness is disorder. Foolishness is disorder. Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. And his words are not heard. Words of the wise spoken quietly should be heard. Rather than the shout of a ruler of fools. That really touched me. That's Ecclesiastic 9, 16 through uh, 18. That really touched me, Terry. I was like, wow, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a ruler as a fool. I want the people around me to, 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 to succeed. I want the people around me to hit the mark. Praise the Lord. I want the people around me to become what I know they can become. Nothing but the best. So get away from the less and become the best. Another thing my father should tell me, it doesn't matter what you are. It doesn't matter what you do to make a living. You could be a shoe polisher or a shoe, shoe shiner, he should tell me. I'm trying to translate it in English. He goes, but be the best shoe shiner in the world. Take pride. My mentor, my physical mentor, who's in England right now, tells me that when he went to Japan, and he lived in Japan, he sees uh, the Japanese sweeping the street with their hats. They look like military. White hat, gloves, uniform, very pride, very, very powerful, very, 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 uh, the spirit of, just, of, 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 what can I say, Father? Give me the word, Lord. This conduct, etiquette of conduct, just, 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 just proper, just, is a sweeper of the street, my God, and they do it with honor. And he says, you can eat off the streets. In that place in Okinawa, you can eat off the streets. These men taking care, taking care, of their, taking care of their assignment. Thank you, Father. I love you. Wow, that's the word. I got to teach on assignment. I got to teach on assignment because it's for me and for you. So whatever you do, do it with honor. Do it with honor. I got you, Lord. I just, it just dropped in my spirit. Colossians 3.23. Will you all go there, please? And we'll, and we'll close up with this. Do it with honor. Whatever you do, do it with honor. Clean your car with honor. Clean your house with honor. Praise the Lord. Whatever you got, take care of it. Man, this morning, I wanted to wear a different type of shirt. And they put a stain on that shirt in the cleaners. And I was like, oh, those stinkers. Oh. And you know what I thought, Terry? If it was Mavis doing it, she'll never let it go through like that. Gosh. I feel the Holy Spirit. I mean it. See, right away, I thought about, about a person who does that job in honor. Praise God. Who likes what they're doing. I said, if it was her. She will never let that shirt go through like that. See? See what I'm saying? See what I mean? Right away. Right away. God 
God made me go into my files and show me somebody. This is the way honor is. This is honor. Oh, God, I feel you. I feel you right now, Holy Spirit. I don't know about you, but I feel the Holy Spirit. My God. Praise you, Father. You there, Colossians 3.23? One, two, three. Read it together. Come on. Everybody, it doesn't matter. <laughs> God just dropped that in my spirit. Okay, viewers. You know what you need to do. You're lost. You know where you're going. The economy's making you crazy. You need peace. You only can get peace through Jesus. I'm telling you. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. What you need to do is pray this prayer with me and ask Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord over your life. That's all. Say it with me. Jesus, come into my life. And I give you totally permission. I give you totally control to be Lord over my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See how good that was and how easy it was? I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.